Yeah, as far as the group goes, Sarah will, she'll sing, you know, the melody she hears in her head. And then we're all just, you know, we'll be together. And it's really just kind of a live jam. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, figure out the chord progression that matches what she's singing. And, you know, we'll just start playing. It'll, it might like start out as something really simple. And then, you know, Andrew will be like, you know, we want this should go here. We should do this part. And Richie, of course, is, um, you know, we're just all kind of coming up with musical parts on the fly. But, you know, it's really a live jam session that morphs into song ideas. And, and yeah. I would say that it can it can turn into something totally different than where it started. You know, like oh, it might have started, hey, this is a slow <laughs> love ballad song and then it right. turns into like this party song it was like how did that happen yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. which is kind of an, an old school not old, kind of an older school kind of way of writing songs and coming up with arrangements and stuff I think that a lot of the Nashville thing comes from you know a songwriter and then it goes through the demo process and then maybe it gets recorded and then before a band a live band even touches the song it, the songs are already there yeah. So uh, it, it's kind of an old school process to to get into a room all together with amplifiers and a full drum kit and and, and come up with parts as a band. And so even after we kind of cool. like we can learn the songs and then we'll go to the studio and the producer, our guy Ryan, will be like, <laughs> "No, nah, I don't want it to go like that. Let's try this." And we're like, "We change it." And you're like, "That's my favorite part, man." Yeah, that's my favorite part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so. really kind of funny that you guys mentioned that because um, we here, uh, me, Michael, and Brittany, Benedict, all here, we worked on a Christmas film together with a few other um, of our friends. And when we were doing the writing process, it really is a lot like what you guys said, where you have an idea of what you want to do for the film, and then everybody has their input, and together you get the storyline of how it's going to be told. And then there's usually one person that's like, no, I don't like it. Start over. And we're like, wait a minute, let's just hold on. And then they're like, well, I hate that line. That line is garbage. Well, I really like that line. And so like, exactly. it's, it's funny how they really, really do mirror each other. That's exactly how it is. Yep. I think anything in the creative realm, like, it, you know, like if, if you're making something, no matter what kind of, what part of the industry you're in, if you're a creative, you, you get this whole process and you know the struggles of it. Right. 100%. 